in the TSX right now, we got the status racing seat. I'm here at KPS and uh, my truck is in the back right now and we're gonna be slapping this on. This is just gonna go on the passenger side uh, just to see kind of what the fitment is like. But yeah, let's see how it goes. There we go. <laughs> I literally just moved everything here into the driver's side. Whatever. Let's see. If this don't fit, I'm gonna be pissed. They smell like bubblegum. Status Racing puts up a, a bubblegum scent on their seats. Oh, what the? <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Wait, 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 hold up. Is this real? Is this real life? <gasps> wait, hold up, I gotta sit in here. Wait, what? Is this allowed? Is this allowed? <gasps> I'm tripping out right now, this is so sick. Get out, get out. All right, all right. Dude, I could already tell right off the bat, this is gonna have way more seat space than the Corvo GTS2, so uh, let's check. Oh my God, I could already tell, oh my God, oh my God. This is just passenger side. Obviously we're gonna be a little bit higher and a little bit more forward, so I'm not touching the back uh, glass right here, but right off the bat, this is for one, comfortable, two, way more spacious than the other Corvos I had. And like my arm, my arm fits right there. Dude, I'm seriously in shock right now. These fit so freaking amazing. Um, I just talked to Josh right now and he says he can make whatever side mount bracket I get, he's gonna make uh, the side mount bracket to floor bracket a lot more slimmer so that my head's like not touching the ceiling like it was with the Corbos. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of the fitment right there. When I close the door, I still have like, eh, you could, she's dusty. But yeah, you guys can see right there, really close to the door, but as long as it's not touching, it's perfect to me. So yeah, these look insane. And uh, the color of the truck is gonna be, so it's gonna match perfectly, dude. So check it out. Oh my God, I can't get over this. All right, so I'm gonna sit in them. I'm probably gonna put my hand on the center console and then just like kind of fall into the seat. But yeah, way more room. I could extend my full left leg right here. Uh, not so much on the right, cause obviously the wheel wells right there. But yeah, way more comfortable, way more spacious in here. I can't wait to get these things in here. Um, yeah, I gotta go do some body work after it's out of the shop here. Uh, rewire the speakers. Uh, overall, just make these door panels a lot uh, nicer to look at. And uh, the stereo, I might swap out for something a little better. Uh, I might hydro dip some pieces and some forged carbon or some uh, carbon uh, headliner. Not gonna do too much with it. Probably replace this so it's not yellow. But yeah, uh, interior is coming along. <laughs> I mean, I say that right now, but there's a whole bunch of stuff here, but oh my God, I just keep talking. This is just so nice. I'm really happy with these. And then I have enough room to put, you know, seatbelt over here if I wanna still use my three point. Um, but yeah, I love it so far. <sighs> I can get used to this. So Josh is gonna be starting on uh, the fabrication. Uh, basically coilover comes out here. Uh, the swivel mechanism, I guess. Uh, and then it goes down to the lower control arm. That part right there. Um, so this is kind of what we're looking like. Zach has told me that they're gonna add some reinforcements here to the frame because obviously the whole weight of the rear end and everything back here is gonna be right here, so there's gonna be a lot of tension here. So uh, they're gonna reinforce it one bar here, one bar there. Uh, I'm not too sure exactly what Josh has in mind um, in order to reinforce it, um, but that's what Zach told me, so I don't know, I should ask. <laughs> Here's the diff, it has its uh, bolts right there, not right here, and then I haven't even looked under this, but I'd imagine uh, it looks nice under there, I don't know, <laughs> you tell me. I'm in the bed. Ooh. Oh, oh. <laughs> so basically the guy that sold me this, his name is Victor. I still keep in touch with him uh, if I have any questions about the whole setup uh, that my fabricators may also have. Um, but here we got the hardware too. I'm not sure if a gasket's in there, probably not. So I'll have to add that. 
Uh, these are getting a little rusty, but I know I'm gonna have these sandblasted and painted, probably powder coated. I'm not sure if you could do that to hubs, but let me know down in the comments below if you can powder coat a hub. I don't know. You might be able to, you might not. Looking pretty sweet back here. Uh, look at these welds. You can't really see the weld, but basically the frame is notched right here. Uh, it's notched inward in order so that when this arm comes up, it doesn't make contact with it, right? Uh, so they also cut out a little piece right here and it's super reinforced with everything that you see here uh, These bars these bars are holding to these bars to this side of the frame. This is like a thick thick piece of uh, Metal right there. I'm not sure what kind of metal don't ask me ask Josh. I don't, I don't. It should be on the ground um, pretty soon so um, After that I kind of want to start on the front suspension the front suspension is going to be uh Pretty cool. Um, I forgot I have wheel woods. Oh, they look super nice. Oh, rusty. Anyways, yeah. Um, I am gonna be doing coilovers for the front. I'm not sure the orientation I wanna mount them. I could mount them like everybody always does, uh, or I could have a push rod going down. And basically when you open the hood, you'll see a coilover facing this way and another coilover facing this way. Um, so it'll be like parallel with the frame and everything. Obviously, if like the valve covers are going to be an issue with the coilovers mounted there, I really just can't mount it there. So, um, we'll see. As soon as this is done, uh, we're going to slap the bed on, we're going to slap the flares on, we're going to bring uh, the Cosmos wheels into the shop, slap them on, and see exactly uh, what the wheel is going to look like. It's going to be really, really thick, and I'm really excited about that. So, um, we'll see. I know the updates for the truck uh, haven't been... Uh, too quick but uh you know this kind of stuff takes time and the way they're doing it everything's coming out like flawless so i'm really happy about that uh the quality that they're doing you really can't beat it so uh really happy with that but like i said just takes time and uh we should have this thing ready to go uh i'm hoping towards uh, i'm thinking september october we'll see but just stay tuned on the channel uh don't forget to like comment share subscribe uh, comment down below uh, if I'm cute. Bye guys. <laughs> Bye baddies. All right baddies, so I'm currently in my garage and I am working on polishing the bad gear, the daily. And also I got a new emoji. Got the little peach emoji on there. The wing looks cool, it's growing on me. But anyways, um, what I have done is I've already polished, uh, I did a two step on the trunk and then I did a two step on this whole rear quarter panel right here. Uh, I already did another two-step. Obviously, I'm just gonna do a whole two-step on, on the entire car. I just did the driver's side uh, rear door, and now I am moving on to the first step of the uh, driver's side door. So I still have to do the other two doors and the other quarter panel, and then I'm done. Um, as far as this hood and these two fenders, I might have it repainted along with the front bumper and the rear bumper. That is why I'm not touching this stuff um, with the polish until I figure out if I'm actually gonna have it painted. So um, that's where we're at. It does have some minor imperfections. I know a lot of people when they see the car, they're like, oh, it looks fine. Up close, you guys could see this little blemish right here. And it's got a couple other ones along the front of it here. And then uh, I would just like to paint this fender too because the other one's gonna get fully repainted. Might as well just repaint this whole front clip. So. Um, I'll just set you guys up so you guys can watch me polish. Uh, I'm gonna start with a heavy cutting pad from Chemical Guys with their heaviest compound. This one right here. And this just uh, makes my job a lot easier because I really just have to hit this one time. And basically all the scratches are kind of gone and then I level it out with 38. This is like an ultra fine finishing one. Um, and I use a different pad with that, it's a white pad. Uh, all of this stuff is from Chemical Guys and I, oh. Here's the white pad that I'm talking about. And yeah, this is their cheapest, uh, most affordable DA polisher. And I'm getting really, really good results. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, this is a pretty quality kit. Uh, I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, it's been sturdy so far and I've already done three cars, so it's pretty cool. All right, so hopefully the camera catches this, but you can see some kind of really, really fine swirls around the light there. Uh, and this is what it looks like when it's done. So that's kind of what it looks like when it's all finished up. I still have to hit this with ceramic coat and then it's a done polish. This car has never been polished uh, even by the original owner and uh, it's just getting polished for the first time here uh, after me owning it for a year. I made the mistake of just like not doing a single step and ceramic coating it when I first got it but now we're just doing a two step. 
Um, paint still looks amazing. I'm just gonna hit it with ceramic coat um, on the entire car and let that dry up for about 24 hours and then probably have its first car wash. But it's been in here for three days and I've just been coming down here for like mm, half an hour, 10 hour and working on it. So let's go. Really nice so far. That's literally just a single stage. Uh, we're hitting it with two, so. God. My voice probably sounds muffled right now because I have my mask on because I'm polishing, but the lens just broke on my camera. It's a Sony a6000 kit lens and it legit, you guys can see in the footage, it literally just fell right on the lens and I picked it up and it was like this and then I pulled it a little bit to see if I can straighten it and it just popped off. So that sucks. I have another lens which is the one I have on now. It's a little uh, more wide angle, more for cinematics and stuff, but uh, I think it was time for this camera to to hit the bin. I want to get like a Sony A7 III maybe or A7 II. Oh my god. Man, that blows. I like this lens too because this new lens that I have on doesn't have a zoom feature, but this one did because it was like a stock lens, but um... <laughs> So now I got the white pad here. This is Chemical Guys uh, V38. This is like their ultra fine finishing polish, fine finishing polish, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I'm just gonna do about four of those. Little dabs, one on each hex. There it is. And let's get to it. I did it. I got myself the Sony a7 III. This is a couple days later. I'm gonna be showing you guys kind of what the paint's looking like right now. Um, I really only did one half of the car and sometimes when I'm driving around, I'm like, are people gonna notice that one side polished, one side isn't? But the car's clean overall. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the passenger side in a couple days. Well, I don't know why I, I, I'm like filming you guys or whatever. Um, I'm gonna get started on it in a couple days uh, and then uh, we're waiting on July 12th and you guys will see what is happening July 12th. I'll update you guys on that. But the paint is looking really, really nice. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like with uh, the new camera. You guys can kind of see right there how there's a bunch of swirls along the panel that I haven't done and then let's switch it over to the side we just did. You really can't see any scratches. If before I wanna see it was probably like at 100% scratches, let's say. Now it's probably down to like 5% but this looks really, really nice. Uh, now I just gotta do the rest of the car. And uh, I won't show you guys that. <laughs> it's literally just gonna be me time-lapsing it. But yeah, that Chemical Guys kit really, really puts in a lot of work. I highly recommend it. It's their cheapest uh, DA polisher and the results, I mean, speak for themselves. It's pretty, pretty solid. Oh yeah, that looks cool. This color is popping like crazy on the new camera. This camera records at 4K. I'm really excited to bring you guys more quality content. That's all for you baddies. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I am gonna be having new content for the truck and the Acura TL coming soon. A really, really big surprise is coming for the Acura uh, July 12th and I'll post about that. I am gonna be posting these Bad Lux t-shirts. I'm gonna be giving away five so you don't wanna miss that, literally. The entry is free, all you gotta do is follow the instructions. Stay tuned on my Instagram, that's where I'm gonna be posting the giveaway details and um, you could be winning this cool looking t-shirt. It's uh, my logo with uh, some metallic flakes in the actual color. It's really, really cool. Uh, I'm gonna be having the shirts ready to go by around next week. So stay tuned for that. See you next time.